Ethereum against the US dollar using the Fibonacci extension tool. So using the extension, you're assuming the bottom is in. So that's what we're going to do today. And we have it uh, currently right at the bottom wick here set on January 24th. This is on a weekly chart. So uh, this is also our 100 week EMA. So we've bounced clearly off of that so far. So good. A nice bullish candle out of here. And we're hopefully proceeding back to the upside. So what are our next levels to be watching for? Well, first and foremost, we need to overtake the 0.5, which is currently around just shy of 3250, okay? Um, not only that, if we do that, we we'll, we'll take out this high. We'd also likely take out the 21-week EMA, which is, you know, zooming out, put this on auto, and, you know, anytime a coin is, you know, more macro bullish, it's holding that 21-week EMA as uh, support price actions, uh, generally well above it uh, when you're putting in, you know, set all-time highs. Uh, so that's where we want to get again. So we're close to, uh, you know, achieving some big things out of uh, Ethereum right now. So uh, that's that's a couple steps into the future. The next bigger step would be the 618, right? We need to overtake that. Uh, currently just shy of 3600, 3576, as you see there. You see all these wicks back in here as well. Uh, that would be another huge step for Ethereum, uh, in my opinion, because you're not only likely closing above the 21 week uh you're closing over the 618 and you're likely you know proceed to the more bullish uh levels uh back over 4k again uh in the not so distant future once we do that so that is our key levels that i'd be watching for right now for the fibonacci extension and we'll keep you updated so let's now go look at the gaussian channel for ethereum on the five day that's what we like it's the sweet spot uh, for using the Gaussian channel. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. The Goldilocks zone. Okay, so Ethereum came all the way down to the bottom of the five-day Gaussian channel. Let's go ahead and move those moving averages to make it a little bit cleaner uh, because we're on a five-day and I hit the wrong button. So <laughs> we want to put that on and there you go. Okay, so five-day Gaussian channel came down right near the bottom. Bitcoin, same thing, right near the bottom. Buying at the five, bottom of the five-day Gaussian channel is usually a good a, a good sentiment uh, to be, uh, you know, when, when everyone's fearful, it's usually at the bottom of the five-day Gaussian channel. It seems like it's always going to go lower, uh, but usually years later, those are the, the rock star buy levels. Let's go take a look-see real quick and see, uh, you know, the, the very few many times that we are near the bottom of five-day Gaussian, right? It doesn't mean you're at the low, right? But if you're want a dollar cost averaging as, as as soon as you start getting towards that bottom it usually works out well uh you know fast forwarding not in the next day or two or week or two or even month or two but you know six months 12 months 18 months later those are pretty good levels right so uh, if you would have bought ethereum at four hundred dollars yeah i think you'd still be a pretty okay i don't think you'd be worried about you know going from you know 4k to 3k and you know whatever Right, you're probably selling on the way up here if you're if you're buying if you're buying uh you know Ethereum at 400. So even even down here, right, it doesn't mean you're at the bottom, but note that where we are. And so next time we're at the bottom of a five-day Gaussian channel, whether or not this is the bottom, and we come back down here or not, just, just let that sink in. Okay, so we held back in uh, 2021 at the top line. So these will act as support and resistance as you interact with them. So we've broken through, we've tried, we're battling this median line right now. So we need to close above it, uh, this this uh, candle, right? Closes in four days, four and a half days from now. Uh, notice we did it back here, but we didn't do our second one. We like to have two confirming candles uh, breaking that moving average, and then your confidence can increase that you're gonna continue to the upside. So step one, let's close one candle. Step two, let's do another candle. And then our odds would increase of us going back up to the top of the line. So that is right now around 3,800, uh, depending on how long it takes us to get there. You know, it could be 4,000 if it's not until, you know, March or something, right? You see how the trajectory is kind of moving up week over week here. So uh, that's kind of our big levels to be watching for Ethereum in a nutshell. So Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we're still at 46. We're still in fear. Uh, longest we've been like in fear, extreme fear uh, in a long time. So the big scale, I mean, we, we're longer than this period now. Uh, we need to, you know, move back to the upside. We need to take out 54 if we want to continue this uh, movement of in prices to the upside. Uh, Quote of the day by John F. Kennedy. Uh, Too often we enjoy the comfort of opinion uh, without the discomfort of thought.
Car of the day. Aston Martin DBX SUV. One of the nicest SUVs I've seen in a while, huh? Uh, it's kind of a super glorified, um, maybe a Honda CRV. <laughs> it's terrible. I said that, but, uh, it looks, I mean, it's very luxurious inside. I, I do love the looks of it, but, uh, it's about the same size as a Honda CRV. <laughs> Just add a one in front of the price. Uh, I'll leave it at that. I like it, but you got to give me a little bit of something extra for 150K, right? Uh, we'll see. All right, I'll see you on the next video. You can't unsee this. Tom Hanks as Guy Fieri. <laughs> Scary.